Superman Action Comics is a long-running comic book series featuring Superman, one of the most iconic superheroes in comic history. The series first launched in 1938 with Action Comics No. 1, which introduced Superman to the world. Over the years, Action Comics has focused on various aspects of Superman's character and his adventures, including his battles against notorious villains like Lex Luthor and Brainiac, his complex relationships with Lois Lane and other characters, and his struggles to protect Metropolis and the world from threats. The series often delves into themes of justice, responsibility, and the moral dilemmas faced by Superman as he navigates his dual identity as Clark Kent and the Man of Steel. It also explores his origin story, the destruction of his home planet Krypton, and his role as a beacon of hope in a challenging world. Action Comics has seen numerous reboots and adaptations over the decades, with different writers and artists contributing to its legacy. It continues to evolve, reflecting contemporary issues, while remaining true to the core values that define Superman as a hero. Hope you're all having an amazing day. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're diving into the latest reissue of the McFarlane Action Comics Superman figure. For those of you who have been collecting the McFarlane DC Multiverse line since uh, day one, well, like me, you know this isn't our first rodeo with this figure. It's actually the third time we're seeing it. Originally released as Action Comics number 1000 Superman, then reissued in a two pack with Atomic Skull, and now will be the third time. Let us see what's new with this latest version. Now, for accessories, he comes with the standard McFarlane art card with the biography at the back. Standard McFarlane flight stand. And then he comes with one, not a pair, one alternate closed fist. I mean, it's not even a complete set of closed fists. Again, that's a missed opportunity. And then one uh, weapon holding hand, which I don't know what we need it for since he doesn't come with any weapon. The only complete set of arm that he has is this two wide palm open hand, which you can use to display him uh, flying. But for the close fist, you only get one, which is again an issue we had when this was initially released. But still, they didn't feel like improving that this time. So let's get into the details. At first glance, you might notice a darker shade of blue, which is a fresh change. But the two notable updates are as follows. First off, the classic Superman logo is now painted on rather than sculpted. Personally, I'm totally fine. I'm totally fine with this since they nailed it. The glossy red and yellow paint make the logo really pop. Secondly, we've got a wired cloth cape. I'm a big fan of this choice, as using soft goods adds so much more fun when posing the figure. Plus, it gives up a premium vibe. The transition from the plastic elements to the soft goods is seamless, making it look really natural. And as an added bonus, the cape is adorned with the Superman logo, which is fantastic. That said, aside from these two updates, everything else remains unchanged, which feels like a missed opportunity. 
don't get me wrong, this figure was my go-to Superman when it first came out, mainly because of that amazing head sculpt, which I still prepare over some of the latter releases. Plus, its slimmer torso stands out against the bulkier molds we've seen since. However, after numerous Superman figures, this mold does feel a bit outdated. For example, I wish they had at least upgraded to a double-jointed elbow for better articulation, especially since McFarlane figures are now moving in that direction. And let's talk about those legs. They seem way too thin for Superman, like his skip leg day. It would made a big difference if they'd given him the muscular legs we see in other molds, like what they did to the Gal Gadot Wonder Woman figure, which was a significant improvement. Since this is already a reuse of, the, of an old mold, I will no longer dig deep into the articulation because there isn't really anything surprising on that area. Now, in terms of a final verdict, the cloth cape truly is the standout feature in this figure's re-release. However, it still feels like McFarlane is leaning into their older molds instead of pushing boundaries. If that piques your interest, then go ahead and grab it. It's still a great Superman figure overall. But honestly, I can't help but feel a bit let down that they missed the chance to enhance it further. They have the capabilities for better arms and more muscular legs, so it's a real shame they didn't take that leap. It's not like they don't have the molds already. They could have just, you know, gotten the better hand and better legs from their other body molds. Anyway, that's my take on this figure. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. It really helps my channel grow. Until next time, enjoy life and happy collecting.